In this short video, I'm going to show you the two cards you need to carry with you at all times for your volume headshot projects. I'm Mike Price. I'm a business portrait and architectural photographer based in Central Ohio. When I go on volume headshot projects, I make sure I have two cards with me at all times and I can hand out to clients. The first card is what I call my Review Us card. This card has on it the website and QR codes where they can quickly link to maybe my Google reviews or my LinkedIn recommendations page to be able to give me updated reviews on the work that I do with them. I make sure I tell them that I don't really advertise for my work. The way I grow my business is through recommendations and referrals, and this is one of the tools that be able to help them remember to be able to go back and do that. Now, I do include this information on the follow-up email they get with their photos, but having something tangible in their hands helps to be able to make sure they remember to be able to give a review and lets me give it to them. On the back side of the card, I put on the other work that I do and not everything that I offer, but the stuff I want them to remember. Commercial headshots, architectural photography, maybe some events, just a couple quick bullet points. But primarily what I'm trying to do is to get them to remember to give me a review using this card. I'm using this as a three inch by five inch card, not too big, that uh, it gets out of the way, but not so small that it gets lost in other business cards. A very handy card to be able to hand out to people. The other card I always have with me at Volume Headshot Projects is not one that I want to hand to the customer to take away. This is a card that basically says, looking for a photographer? If you notice on the design, there's none of my contact information on this card. I don't want them walking away with this card. Think about it. How many times have you been at a project, you're in a volume session, you're shooting clients, you're really busy, and they, somebody comes up to you and says, hey, uh, this looks really great. I'd like to do this for my big event coming up. How do I get a hold of you? What information do you have? And you hand them your business card and say, call me. Let's talk about our project. This is not the way you want to do it because you've lost control of the sales cycle right off the bat. You are now relying on them to be able to take that card Remember who you were, remember what the card was for, and be able to call you when they want to be able to talk about it, and you have no way to follow up with them. As an alternative, what I do is I created this very simple card. It has my company name on it, but no contact information. This is not a card I want them to walk away with. I, they take this card on the back side. I've printed this without a gloss surface, so it's easy to write on. It has their name, phone number, email, date of the event, and a place where I can put in just very quickly what it is they're looking for. I can either hand it to them if I'm really busy and say, fill this out and give it back to me, or if I have a moment, I can fill this out, and then I put this in my pocket, and now I have it with me. I control the sales cycle now. I can follow up with them, find out about the event, find out their budgets, timing, all those kinds of deals, and stay on the process until I can close the deal. So when you're a volume headshot project, make sure you have a supply of these two cards with you. The review card you hand out to as many people as you can. The do you need a photographer one is one you want to keep track of and always make sure you get back before the persons leave. Hopefully you find these videos helpful. Connect with me and let me know if it helps drive more business for you.